notifications, put them on right now. What's up, beautiful people? Hello, it's your favorite small head, bald head, <laughs> hair color queen, every hair color queen, Yana Kai, and I am here with a box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What is in the box? Now, what's in this box is the eyelash company that I am a brand ambassador for, Lash Barb Cosmetics, okay? And I ordered three pairs because I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what they look like, the packaging, all that stuff. Because I think I got one order from my last video. I'm going to see if I get some more orders because these lashes are dope, you know. I really love lashes and I think I should have my own lash line. Maybe in the future, but... So I'm gonna unbox it and then I'm gonna might I might put a pair on because right now if you could tell I just got out the shower. I just got out the shower for about an hour. Ate it. Got some power. Oh! <laughs> Alright, either way. So yeah, I might put some on and you know I ain't going nowhere. So I ain't gonna use a lot of product if I do put some on, but yeah. So while I'm unboxing this, I wanna talk. Let's just talk. Let's chat. So I ordered three different styles, y'all. And um, this one is tropical. So it says it on the packaging. Now this one is tropical. Focus, focus. Tropical. Let me take this out. It's river like this. They're like shorter. You know, they're shorter, fluffy, pretty. I like tropical, you know. For everyday workwear, you know, you can wear this with anything you want to. So, that's tropical. This one is freaky. Let's see. Okay, so freaky is freaky, okay? You trying to go out, out. You trying to show out, out, okay? I might put these on. I don't know. Y'all see, I don't know. We, just, we might do something simple right now. Freaky is cute, but that's long, okay? I've been told, like, I can wear long lashes like that because um, I have shorter hair. But when I wear weave, I still be dramatic with my lashes. So I just be looking fake, but you know, sometimes that's cute. That's cool. Okay, and I really like these. This is um, Coco. Yeah, cause I remember I had these before. Mine lasts for like 10 different applications. Like sometimes I had to throw it away because I accidentally threw it away. You know how you try to clean your lashes and you put it on like a paper towel? Well, some men may not know that, but girls, y'all know sometimes, and I still throw it away. Or like, you know when you cut your lashes sometimes and like that string, you like, I don't know. Or if you're trying to get the glue off and you might pick at it too much, that might mess up the lashes. Yeah, I do all this stuff. So I don't be taking care of myself sometimes. I need, to, I need to do better. But you can wear these at least 10 times. Okay. This one is Coco. Super cute. I love the staggered. This dagger is super pretty. Let's put on freaky. Let's put on freaky, y'all. Let's put on freaky. So while I'm putting these on, I just want to talk. I think I'm going to tell a story. You want to hear me tell a story? I ain't never done that before. I don't know, man. I, I can't multitask, so I might have a hard time with this. I have um, Ardell. Ardell Lash Glue. I like this lash glue as well as um, Duo. But I really like Ardell the most. And I use white lash glue. I know a lot of people use black. But I don't really put eyeliner on when I'm doing it. So I know that the black dries black. But when I use this, it, um, sometimes it has white sticky stuff. But most of the time it just dries clear. So, what are we putting on? I say freaky. Okay, so let me talk about why I cut my hair. Why am I your favorite small head ball head? How did I become your favorite small head ball head? Let's talk. So I'm really like intuitive. Like I can tell a lot of stories about intuition if you guys want me to talk about it. I really don't dig too deep into it. Like um, my dad's side is Creole and stuff. And you know how they be saying Creole people. Creole people they say is like. I don't know they be saying them, them Creoles. I don't know what they be saying. Y'all know what they be saying. What they be saying about Creoles. If y'all know something about like Creoles, put it in the comment section below. Either way, 
So my dad's side is Creole, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? That's where he's from. And yeah, that's where half of my family is and I love them. Like I love going to Baton Rouge. Like Southern people are like super nice. They're super sweet. I wanted to move there and I wanted to go to Southern. I thought I was going to Southern. That's a story time in itself, but they played me, you know how black schools be. Talking about some, you know, I was down there visiting everything. You know how you have in your Instagram bio, you finna fly out. So I had any to, uh, <laughs> I had any to BR or LA, I don't know which one I put. And I was like, had the flight and then I looked stupid cause I didn't go nowhere. I didn't go nowhere because I'm waiting for them all summer to call me. And then I had to re-enroll my old college cause they didn't call me. So I was like, what the fuck? Then they called me a month before talking about something. Are you coming down to orientation this week? Do you know where I live? I live in Nebraska. You know how far that is from Baton Rouge? I was so mad because I wanted to go to Southern. I made friends and everything, but either way. So why did I cut my hair? Okay, so you know how they say like a lot of toxic energies in your hair? Like, I believe that. You know how some people wear dreads, they cut their dreads off to get rid of all that energy if they had like bad energy? I believe that, like, I don't believe, like, you know, that's the soul, like, all the energy of the toxicness, like, you cut your hair, you're totally, like, there's no more toxic, no, but I do believe that there's a lot of toxic energy in your hair. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna cut these to fit my eyelash. So I'm gonna use my, um, little mirror I got here. So yeah, so, I can't even barely see you. Well, my last relationship with my ex, um, it became very very toxic like it just became super toxic i'm gonna have to listen i'm gonna have to put you up closer i've only been in like one real relationship and i was with my ex you know we had a baby and everything so that was like the family like you know like that was my only real relationship before that i had like relations and i had exes but like we was never nothing serious serious what the hell am i so glossy we was never nothing serious serious like you know like we was messing around but it wasn't like that either way so yeah, like we live together and everything. Like this is the first time I ever lived with like a boyfriend. Like I lived with Mel's before my old for my friend, my first vlog friend, Chris. We lived together several times, you know, but it wasn't no relationship type stuff. So, you know, it was it was different, you know. I was pregnant. We lived together. I thought it was just gonna be dope dope. But then it started to become toxic. You know, things happen. You know, when you living with somebody you might get annoyed with them and toxic traits are it just became super toxic and there was like i feel like i became toxic as a person you know how you, your toxic traits come out you know so it's just like yeah it was kind of kind of hard you know so yeah a lot of things happen i can get too deep into that right now but maybe one day i can have a story time if you want to know yeah we're on good terms right now it was it got toxic and you know we broke up or whatever so after we broke up I was just really really down like I'm telling you like I lost myself didn't know who I was just didn't care about like nothing like nothing like I didn't care about me a lot of the times I just be like you know I just don't care like as long as my daughter is good like anything that happened to me like I just don't care about like it don't matter but I definitely didn't think I mattered I was just gonna sit up there and just suffer and just be like whatever he could do whatever he wants and I'm just not gonna follow my dreams and my careers or nothing like that. I'm just gonna be like, he can do that. And I'm just gonna be here with Kai, which is my daughter's name. My anxiety was super, super bad and social anxiety was bad because I wasn't really around nobody but him and my daughter. My social anxiety is bad now, y'all. I haven't been doing anything. Literally every weekend I get excited to make videos. Like, I need y'all to come to my house or I need to go to y'all's. Like, come on, give me the travel. I want to see y'all. Like, I have some dope people I met through, like, small YouTubers. Y'all are dope. I never knew about this community at all because, you know, I just watch the big YouTubers. But y'all are so dope. Like, y'all are, like, family. I really, like, feel like I've grown a connection with a couple of you. Even a lot of you I just met, like, because we're all growing together. And, like, I just feel like y'all like a little family. Like, y'all like the most support that I get. And I appreciate y'all. And... I need to come visit y'all. Y'all my friends. But either way, yeah, I didn't really do nothing. Anxiety is bad, all that stuff. So I've been wanting to cut my hair for a minute. My hair was damaged. It was a lot of hair, you know, it had grown a lot over the years. But like, all I did was 
take my weave out, put more weave in. Like take braids out, put more braids in. Like I didn't get my split ends cut. I was in college, I would do my own hair. I would crochet, take it out, crochet again. Like I would do my own hair. It's because one lady had did my hair where I was at and she pulled my edges out. No, I learned how to do my own hair. So yeah, that's that. Um, so yeah, it was super damaged. And I had got a trim and it cut like a lot of it off. Let me find a picture of what I was looking like. And it was a hot mess. I looked like I was in eighth grade with like this weird bob cut. I was like, no, I need you to cut all my hair off and color it. And she um, she wasn't really a color person, but she, th she thought I would look cute with a short hairstyle. And I'm like, you know, I'm trying to cut it. Everybody was scared to cut my hair. It was like, you sure you want to cut your hair? Yes, cut it. I am grown. I'm tired of looking like a child. I don't want to I don't want to feel like I need to wear weave all the time. It was a confidence thing, too. It was like, I don't want to go out here feeling like I always need to wear weave to look pretty. You know, I want to feel pretty natural. Like, I want to go out and be like, I look pretty natural. I don't care about how other people perceive me. I want to feel pretty. Just me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I ended up getting my hair cut. Um, so, yeah, I had my auntie. She just cut it one day at the house on Sunday dinner. She cut it and my cousin is a barber. So he like lined me up and like, I was like, yes, this is it. And she put a little texturizer on me, but that texturizer ain't do nothing. So when I first cut my hair, it looked like, I'm gonna answer the picture what it looked like. It's like, I want to color it. I want it to be shorter and I want to color it. My auntie, we got box color. We went to the store, um, we did like a reddish color or whatever. It was cool or whatever. But um, after that, I went to Jazzy. Finally got in with her and we did a hot peak, okay? And that was for my birthday. On my birthday, on my birthday. And I was like, I loved it. It was super cute, you know? And I was telling her I wanna go shorter because I was shorter originally with the red. I liked how short that was. And all I do is sponge it, just sponge it or whatever. And it was easy, it was get up and go. Like, all I have to do is worry about my daughter's hair. Like, I don't have to worry about my hair which was it was dope you know and i just had false lashes i had lash extensions and i missed them and when i cut my hair like as soon as i cut my hair i felt i felt free like i'm not saying that all the toxic energy left me and i was fine but i felt good like a confidence booster i just i just changed who i was i was no longer that ayana i was a whole different person because at the time i lost myself i became a mom i was no longer ayana i was not living for me i was living for my ex and i was living for my daughter me i did not matter so when i cut my hair i started living for me you couldn't tell me nothing you couldn't tell me nothing i came in with my sunglasses you couldn't tell me nothing you talking about and i'm so happy i did it i'm so happy i did it and i'm still happy now like looking into the camera with no weave and no makeup i still think i look listen you look good i said you look good Period. My hair, look at my hair. It's like pinkish, whitish or something. I don't know what color that is, but I ain't got no lineup or nothing. You know, I be needing a lineup. My hair be growing. I need a lineup. So I definitely be wearing hats. <laughs> Not that I think I'm ugly. I just need a lineup. And I have started wearing weave. I just started wearing weave again. Like that black wig I wore and the red one. I had the red one since last year. I just put it back on because... You know, sometimes I do miss weave, so I just throw it on. But when I get tired of it, like tired of doing it, just take it off. But cutting my hair helped me. And I always wanted to do a YouTube channel. Last year, I had a camera and we had went on a cruise and something happened. I lost my camera. So I was just stalling. I was like, you know, I got to get another camera so I can start recording again. But no, no, sis, you don't. Use your phone. And I'm happy I learned how to edit on my phone because if I didn't, I don't know what I'd be doing. I can't wait to get a laptop because I'm going to be producing more content fast. I'll be like, you know what I'm saying? Every second something happens, be post, 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 notification, put them on right now, huh? Yeah, so that's why I cut my hair and I'm so happy I did because like I said, my confidence went from zero to 100. It feel good. I know I still need to work. I have a lot of insecurities I need to work on. I think that's everybody, but like really... There's some insecurities in here that I need to work on, for real, like, badly. Um, yeah, so, it was dope. It was dope, and I'm happy I met Jazzy, because every time we go, I go to her, you know, we come up with something, we come with a new color. Like, every every month, I was switching the color. It was, like, more than every two weeks, every three weeks, whatever. It was a new color. Blue was dope. Turquoise was dope. I loved it. What other color I like? This color now is pretty. 
I wish the whole head was this color, you know, because I got the black sides, but it's pretty. But this is the accident color, so it just it's a fade of my orange. That's the color I have. I like the how pink is pretty, but I really love the blues. The blues on me was dope. I don't know. I need to go back to blue. What you think? I should go back to blue. What eye is this? What eye is it? Okay. Y'all yeah, be keeping this mirror at work too. I had to take it home just for this video. Cause I know sometimes I be forgetting to put my lashes on, I put them on the wall. Ooh, these is a lot, huh? I need to cut them. Ooh, these is a lot, huh? These is a lot. Ooh, always one eye. Like, they cannot be the same. Okay, either way. So, I got a 20% off code for y'all. Yanakai, Y-A-N-A-K-A-I-I -I at LashBarbCosmetics.com. Okay. No more than 10 and $12. So, 20% off of that is cheap. Oh, you gotta break shoes in you gotta break lashes in for real you gotta like curve them right like this one is a little bit too curvy i think i think that's why it's doing it it look weird in the camera because it's just a little bit too curvy right now it has to relax it has to learn my eye shape but um i kind of feeling me with outlashes today this is a lot i think that these would look better um with makeup on they're so pretty though they're super pretty but this lash is for when I have a full face like you're trying to go all out. I can't just wear this lash for um, bare face, I don't think. What y'all think? Tell me y'all opinions on it. I like it a lot. I think that the lash I should have probably tried on was um, this one for bare face. Because these are shorter. These are like my everyday workwear ones. And these are like I'm going to the club party. But these ones, yes, honey. These is like, okay, I'm finna put on my contour. I'm finna put on my makeup, my laps. You know, I'm finna look good. But I like them, okay, the more they got on, the more they settle, okay, they settle on. Like, they so blue with. Okay. I like these lashes a lot. They're super pretty. They had to settle on me, okay? Cause at first I'm like, what's going on? But they, they look nice. But either way, have y'all ever felt like, you know, do y'all agree with me talking about hair and um, toxic energy? Like, seriously, I am very intuitive. We can talk about it in the comments all day if you want me to do more videos and talk about, like, story times. I got a lot of stories for y'all, girl. I got an idea for what I want to talk about next, but that's if y'all like it. I'm trying to figure out what y'all like, y'all. Y'all ain't told me yet, okay? I'm trying to figure out what type of audience I got, okay? What y'all want to hear from? Like, what tell me i'm with it let's go like i said i'm serious about traveling to you guys houses or traveling to you guys and we collab for real i love to travel my anxiety is very bad so my traveling anxiety got worse like i've always had motion sickness on planes but now i have a daughter so i can't really just take drama mean and knock out like i have to stay up because the last plane ride we took beginning of june we took a plane ride to uh, san antonio I was struggling. I didn't take my medicine early enough because I was trying to give her medicine. So I was panicking and I wanted her to just go to sleep so we could both go to sleep together. She wasn't going to sleep. Yeah, I can't just go to sleep like I want to. I can't just knock out, just, ugh, my God. It just, and then I've experienced bad turbulence. So it just made me scared, y'all. It just made me like nervous or whatever. But I'm gonna get on it. I'm gonna get on a plane, okay? It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a safe plane. I can't stop, you know? I've been on six cruises. And now I'm scared to cruise again because of everything that's been happening and the bad time. I know it don't happen often, but it happens. And pirates. But I've been on six cruises and I've been fine. So I just need to pray, pray, pray and just stop it. Because I want to go to London. I want to go to Canada. I want to go to Hawaii. I need to go to Cali again, see my family. My dad and them live in Cali. Okay, my cousin's on here probably watching. My grandma and Cali made this for me. Let me shout her out. Grandma Nettie. You know what I'm saying? I need to go to Baton Rouge. We're going to go to Baton Rouge and meet up together. See the family. Shayla, I know you're watching, okay, Aunt Theta? My daddy. You know, love my family, even though, you know, we don't see each other very often. But I still, I still love y'all. We still got love for each other. So, yeah. Um, well, I think that's it for this video. It's already too long, okay? I was just chit chatting, okay? Just talking out there. But I hope y'all like these lashes because at first I was like, these look crazy. But now if they settled in, I like them. Like, I think I could just wear them like this. Maybe I need to put a little bit of contour or something on some lip. But I like them. I think they're cute. I'm going to take some pictures. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to need y'all. If you're new to the channel, join the fam. Come on, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications on. You heard me. 
so you get a notification every time I post you know comment below let's talk you know I like to chat I'll chat with anybody support me I support you let's support each other let's grow I'm all for growing let's do it let's hit it let's hit 300 subscribers okay hopefully I have 300 subscribers by the time I post this video but if not let's hit it let's go let's get it up there okay roll to 1k I think I'm gonna hit it by next year hopefully not like when it you know next year around this time maybe next year in November and hopefully I get them watch time hours because y'all know that's the hardest to get. So let's go. And I really wish y'all would uh, follow me on my social medias. I'm going to show them below. They're going to be below and there as well as in this video. Because y'all know we can't post on YouTube until we have like 10K subs. We can't post no stories or no uh, um, statuses. So y'all be commenting the most. I need to hear from y'all. I need to know. I know I didn't talk about a lot in my question and answer. Nothing personal. Because when I ask for questions, nobody asks me any. And I don't have any of y'all on my social media. So I need y'all to get on there so y'all can ask me questions. And tell me what y'all want to see. Let's talk about it. Snapchat and Instagram are on there most. Um, I do have an old Twitter. I said I didn't have a Twitter before. But I have an old Twitter. But I don't be on it. It's probably deactivated. I don't know. But I need to make a new one for YouTube as well. I have Facebook. But that's just for family. Y'all know Facebook just for family so yeah get on there let's go and um if you're you know already been in the fam forever i appreciate y'all appreciate my subs that have been supporting me since day one there's friends that tell me they always watch my videos appreciate y'all for sure so yeah have a blessed day have a blessed night have a blessed weekend don't get too turned just be safe and yeah we out there man because i don't like to try it's suburban back to back and we gonna fill them up with vibes Feeling with vibes, yeah. getting it right, yeah. and no, a nigga not blind. Uh -uh.